Hello everybody, my name is Sophie and welcome to my book nook. Can y'all believe that it is fall already because I don't understand. I mean summer went by like that. Spring took 20 years, summer just blink of an eye. I don't know how it happened but it did and here we are. And so maybe you're like me and you're like oh it's a fall, it's time for cozy things. I've got my cozy sweater, I've been drinking hot cocoa. I'm sorry I'm not a pumpkin spice girl well and I've been reading some kind of fluffy sweet books <laughs> one of those and the one that we are talking about today is home for the holidays by Sarah Richardson I received this book from forever publishing uh, they said to me to read and review that I read it time to review it that's what we're doing right now so uh, this book already came out it came out on September 22nd I Really enjoyed it. Before I get into that, let me tell you what it's about. There are three sisters, Dahlia, Magnolia, and Rose. And these three sisters spent many of their childhood Christmases at their aunt's inn in Juniper Springs, Colorado. Then, at some point in their childhood, they stopped going because their mom had a falling out with their aunt. That was like 18 years ago. And so it's kind of surprising to these girls when they each get a letter from their aunt asking them to come visit Juniper Springs for one last Christmas. Now it's not exactly easy to just pack up everything and go to Colorado, especially for these three women. They each are going through their own difficulties. Dahlia's been through a divorce and she has two young kids and her ex isn't making things exactly easy. So she really could use the support of her sisters this Christmas. Marigold is trying to have a baby and it hasn't been easy. She's been struggling with infertility and she's been keeping it a secret for a long time and she needs her sisters too and maybe a Christmas miracle. And then there's Rose who is engaged to the most eligible bachelor in Georgia except his mom is a real pain and Rose doesn't know if she can really deal with that so she needs her sisters too. So they all find ways to go out to Juniper Springs and while they're there a lot of interesting things happen. They come together and they really discover what it is they truly want for Christmas. Now this book, uh, I'm gonna give it, I'm giving it four stars. It reads like a Hallmark movie and that could be a bad thing depending on how you feel about Hallmark movies. Usually Hallmark movies are, they're sweet, they're, they're cozy, they're warm, they're usually a little cliche. <laughs> a little predictable, all that kind of things. I will say that I feel like this is more entertaining than a Hallmark movie. It reads like a Hallmark movie, but like a really entertaining Hallmark movie. I really did enjoy it. I loved the sisterly bond between these three women. I love that it is multiple perspective. We see each of their perspectives, Athalia, Marigold, and Rose. I like that it's a story that kind of tackles some bigger issues, like Marigold's infertility and Dahlia with her divorce and she's kind of trying to figure out who she is now. She's been married for a long time to someone she shouldn't have been married to to begin with really and she's never really figured out what it means to like actually really be in love and it's like <sighs> all these things and it's like learning about how family isn't always what it seems because these women are learning about what really happened between their mom and their aunt and so it's it's kind of about realizing your past and coming to terms with what happened before and moving on to the future and it's a really sweet story and it's heartwarming and it's fun and I really enjoyed it even though it's not the typical kind of book I read I don't usually read holiday books maybe I should read more holiday books because it was fun and it was entertaining and I felt like I could relate to all of the characters pretty well like I have a sister so I can relate to that uh I definitely could relate to Dahlia. There's <laughs> one page in this book that it, like starts off one of, one of, with one of Dahlia's chapters and it like talks about her like making tons of spreadsheets and y'all know me, uh, I'm a spreadsheet queen. I do that, that's <laughs> who I am. I make spreadsheets for all kinds of things. Like Marigold, she's a baker. I love to bake. I don't wanna be a baker, but I love to bake. Um, and it's just, it's just a sweet story. And I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it at first, and then I read it, and I did. And I read, loved, loved it so much that I want to know what happens next. And there is, where is it? There's gonna be a sequel, The Summer Sisters. I will say this book is very predictable. Like everything that happened, you could see it coming from a mile away. But it was still entertaining and still sweet, 
And there was one part that I wasn't expecting. There was one thing that actually surprised me, and I appreciated that, but it is very predictable, and yet it's still very entertaining and still very enjoyable. And if you're looking for a sweet, fun, happy ending Christmas holiday book, Home for the Holidays is definitely for you. If you're looking for a book with sisters, with multiple perspectives, if you're looking for just a sweet, fun love story, it, it, it's, this, is, this is the one, this is the book. I would highly recommend picking it up either this fall or this holiday season. If you like a good Hallmark movie, you'll enjoy Home for the Holidays, guaranteed. So check it out. It is out now. I will put links in the description box for where you can find the book, where you could buy the book. And remember, if you can't buy it, request it from your library. Even if your library doesn't have it, see if they'll buy it because, you know, libraries help authors too because the more libraries that are buying books, it's still book sales. It's still good. <laughs> And I say that as somebody who works at a library. So let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you thought of this review. Let me know if you are interested in this book. And also tell me your other holiday book that you love. Because I probably should read some more of these. So I'm, I'm interested. Tell me. Tell me what your favorite holiday book is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like listening to me talk about books, please subscribe to this channel because that's what I do. And if you aren't already, please follow me on Twitter at Sophie's Book Nook. In the event that I have to mark a video made for kids, you will need to be following me on there to be sure that you know that I made a video. And I think that is it, so I will see you guys next time.